Daddy's drone. <laughs> wave, wave to Daddy. Daddy. Hello. <laughs> Can you see his drone? Hello, wondered, Daddy. wondered what that was. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another one of our Home Education Journey UK family vlogs. It is January, Friday the 8th and I want to start this vlog by wishing you all a happy new year. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas, plenty of family time. I know it was obviously quieter than we um, maybe have experienced in previous years, but I hope it was still special and you managed to make it unique for yourselves. Um, I want to also say a big hello and welcome to all of our new subscribers. We're super, super happy that we've got so many. It's really creeped up and um, I'm so pleased that you're all finding it really, 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 really useful. That's the reason we're doing this. I know it's been a while again and I'm really trying this year. We're going to try and do it regular. But with home ed and the kids and family life, it's quite difficult for us at the minute to get a weekly one out. But we are aiming for that to um, help you all, especially at the moment with the new government guidelines and our um, third lockdown, I think it is, and having to home ed the children where maybe you um, haven't planned to with work commitments or just because you prefer your children to be at school and um, hopefully these vlogs will help you guys as well. The children had loads and loads of um, board games, craft sets, science experiments so our Janu January um, is mainly going to be um, game schooling where we just work through and play all their new games, take our time to do that. Also sneak in a little bit of maths curriculum and also um, a curriculum that we've had for a couple of years and the first year we had it we worked through it every day and then the, the last two years we've been just picking out different days and doing it on and off and it is really really good and I thought now might be a good time to show you guys um, with the lockdown and not being able to go out to too many places it's all nature based um, so I thought I'd show you guys this might be something you're interested in it's called uh, can you see it exploring nature with children and it is basically a curriculum that is um it goes oh for the whole of a year and it's getting out in nature learning about various things throughout the year and it is really really good so we're going to do a bit of that today um, and i thought what i'll do is i'll film and show you what one of the weeks looks like so we'll keep you posted as we go on and i'll see you all later on So this is the um, Exploring Nature with Children curriculum. It, you you buy it one one payment, and then you can, you get the PDF, and then you can print it all off. And I've printed it all off and put it all in weekly sections, so I can either start from the beginning, which starts I think in September, or I can flick through, which is what I've done today, and pulled out one for January. Now this one is January week one, which probably should have been done last week, but we weren't doing any home ed work as such last week so um we decided to do it this week as the children really wanted to do this one because in it has got about making um where is it mm -mm. making a rain gauge which ted especially really really wants to do so we pulled it out and we're going to do it this week and basically you get a couple of pages for each week broken down into months and then into week one two three or four and then it gives you the the topic or the subject and this week is winter sky and then it gives you an activity to get outside and explore various things it gives you a list of books that would be helpful and then it gives you poem and then extension activities there and there it's also good if you get a um nature journal because it refers to that a lot to do various drawings and jotting down various things which our three have all got one of those and i'll show you them um, shortly got them from amazon i'll show you them and leave a link for those so this morning we're about to go for a walk have a look at the winter sky get the children to all um take a picture of the view they like 
going to come back the kids are going to either draw it or paint it whichever they want to do and then we are going to have a look at what the temperature is outside start making a graph for um inside our nature journals and we'll record that over the next week as to how the temperature is is at a specific time each day and then the other thing we're going to do is make that all important rain gauge so that's the plan for this morning and then i think this afternoon will probably be um playing some games those are still all the ones over there are still the ones we haven't managed to get through yet other than the one at the top we played that one the mario one so they've still got loads of games to do that's also a beautiful picture that lenny's put up for me so that's the plan for today i'm going to get the children and put their wellies on and go and venture outside because it's beautiful and frosty at the minute look at this look it's a nice little plant thing where it's dominating on water but wow look, it's like it's got ice so what temperature much must it have got to in the night head zero yeah Come on then, guys, let's go. Millie, come on. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're in the field outside behind our house aren't we got the farm there we're so lucky to have this oh, right on our doorstep yeah. you took it yeah. did you take your picture millie yeah, um, well done you got your gloves on yeah. Keep I... looking at the sky and when you find a nice bit that you want to take a picture of. Yeah? I found a nice bit that I wouldn't take a picture okay, of. Okay, you need to tell Alfie and then you can use the, the camera. We're just oh. walking through the fields and Ted has got some excited news that he's asked if we can mention on here and I said yeah, so do you want to tell him Ted? So on my chest, um well I got um there's a tournament on and I, I decided I'll do it and it's um gonna be really cool. It's an online tournament and um I'm really excited that I might win on chess because I've been practicing for years. And You're going to enter, aren't you, at the end of the month? Yeah. And if you win against other children, if you win, what do you get to see? Her? A uh, a grandmaster. That is super and, cool, isn't it? Yeah, and the teacher chess. How exciting is hours. that? It's really exciting. The teddy bear's super excited this morning because Daddy just found it, didn't he, this morning and has entered you. Yeah, it's on. It's on chess. Look at Millie and them. Battery over there in the distance. Okay, do you want to show Alfie and go a bit closer, darling, and take the picture? Oh, look, Daddy's drone! <laughs> wave, wave to Daddy! Daddy! Hello. Oh, wave, wave! <laughs> No, you wouldn't. We're very lucky. We always say how lucky we are, aren't we? Yeah. Don't we? Um, so we've all got our pictures. We found lots of ice that we've been smashing in, and yeah. we've been here much longer than we thought. But never mind. That's all like part of the joy now. of homemade, isn't it? So now we're going to head back, get a warm drink, <laughs> and start doing our drawings, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Can I do mine on my iPad, please? Yes, darling. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Right. Look, what else? What? Oh. <laughs> look, look, this bit's hard. I'm torn. I, I was torn in half your oh. um, If you didn't know, um, if you didn't know, this is my lanyard. I wear it because I'm a sensory disorder. You do. You like your lanyard, don't you? Yeah, wear it Ooh. everywhere, don't you, darling? Yeah, right. When you get home, can I show them my necklace? Yeah. My special necklace. You can show them your special necklace. Right. Let's get home, and we'll see you all later. Look at 
you there we go sweetheart thank you let's have a look at your drawing oh Billy, that's wonderful darling it's really really good and then the bits of and then the that is super it's looking brilliant Elf. thanks Do you want a hot drink at all, Alfie, darling? No, thank you. I'm not really thirsty. Don't want to tear anything. No, I'm not. Really. So this was the picture you, the photo you took, wasn't it, on the walk? Alfie took it for me. Yeah, but you want, you you, you um, shown him the bit to, to take, didn't you? You had your gloves on. You should do Look at the sky. The Look at the colour of the sky, Ted. What colour is it? Like dark. White. What does it look like it's full of? Rain. Rain, do you think rain? Snow. Snow, I think snow. What do you think? Do you think rain or snow? Uh, or both, a bit of both? But, yeah. It's a lovely picture there. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't snow. Oh, that's darker. Great, I don't want to put that. I just want to make like very faint uh, decisions on what I did. Look, because that is just a bit darker than this. So, um, looks great. Uh, yeah, that one picture. It's looking super. Look, you've done the white. I was just saying to Ted, what colour is the sky? This is your picture, isn't it? What colour is the sky, Millie? Mm -hmm. White, but I really have white. a fucking picture, but um, in my opinion, I have a more white. Yeah, picture. yours is really white. And what do you think it looks like in the sky? Huh? What do you think it looks like in the sky? Snow. It does look like there's snow in the sky, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you think it'll snow today? It said it might, so fingers crossed. It looks like there's snow there, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Oh, Alfie, that's brilliant. That's foggy. Really, really good, these are. Mm. We're taking lots of time and really thinking about what you're doing. And this was your picture, wasn't it, Alfie, that you did? Yeah. We're back from our walk. Everyone's got hot drinks. Well, those that wanted, Millie wanted a hot drink. The boys wanted cold drinks. We've got snacks. It's about 11 o'clock and they're just busy in doing their winter drawings. You finished? Really enjoys me wow, Alfie. Oh, thanks. That is really, really good. You've done foggy bits, but it doesn't really show up. You're proud of that? Yeah. I could try to do the houses of the, of the village, but they looked a bit... Uh, Thing. That is really, really good. Is there a house on that photo? Um, no, I don't think there, so yet. Yeah. It's off there. Don't you ready to show me yours, Millie? Don't, 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 Let's have a look. Hold it still. Wow, look at that. Are you proud of that? What, good girl, it's super. What's next, Mummy? One second and I'll be in to explain, darling. Okay. Have you finished yours? That is super, Millie, look. You've got all of the white in the sky, haven't you? Well done, baby. Even did these bits. You did. You did all of it. Great. We can put that back in your nature journal, can't we? So, Teddy, let's have a look at your final picture. And this is my picture. Super duper. If you zoom out, you can't tell that there's actually four in the sky. Well, you can sort of because of the line. You've done the there. different layers within the sky. Yeah, this is first, second, third, and fourth. So it's like a different shape. Super shirt. duper. Oh. Oh, you've done the little white layer on the on the um, the gate as well. Yeah, like this. Um, like on there. Super duper, darling. Well done, baby. Thank you, hey guys. I got a really special necklace. It's probably the most special specialist necklace I've got. Hey, Alfie. Create a bar graph in your nature journal to show temperatures temperatures you record for the week. A bar shows a bar uses a bars to show the picture of an idea of the data information that you collected. Write the days of the week under horizontal line X axis or X axis. Label the axis days of the week. Write the numbers on the vertical line what or Y axis. Label this axis temperature to determine to determine how you set up numbers. Consider the lowest and highest temperatures you recorded. Wait, it's Friday today. It is, yeah. Yeah. And then what's going to go in the next square? So. For. Saturday. Well done. Perfect, Alfie. For Sunday. Yep, that's right. 
And then here is where we're going to do the temperature, isn't it? Oh, Ooh, all that fresh air yeah. time, mate. Right. So what did we? What do we think we're going to start with? Uh, minus three. No, minus five. minus three. Are you sure? Because if it gets colder than minus three, then we've got I think we, we would, but I think we'll be all right with minus three. We, if if it always we get to Saturday, and it's might we can just do the number. Okay. By looking at the rough um, weather on our phone that we did, it only was going to get to about minus two, wasn't it? So I think minus three. It's sensible. We should be okay. Right. So if we start minus three on the first line. Oh, like right there. Okay. Three. Mommy. Minus two. Well done, darling. And then so you're going to do the same now with the temperature, oh. starting on this first blue line with minus three, three, we said, didn't we? So do I just put a three? A minus next to it first. Oh, a take away a takeaway sign and then a three. And here. Where do I put Yeah, on the first blue line here. Where, on there. Here, darling. On that here. one. Yeah, on that on the on the line. On? Yeah, do you want to show Millie what you've done, sweetheart? Yeah. Can you see what Alf has done? Oh, on, yeah. on this blue line, look, along this blue line. Oh yeah. And you've gone to ten. Yeah. Well done. We could have we could have done we could have done with seven. I don't think it's gonna get higher than seven. That's okay, but we have got we've got it just in case, haven't we, for next week. Mm. I think it's going to get a bit warmer. Is it? Nice. Good girl. Where can we get some snow? Then we'll stop doing the minus. Minus, that's right. And then what comes after minus one? Zero. Good girl. And then one. Well done. And then two. Great job. And three. So Alfie. Yo. What should we put at the top then here? What could you put? To show how cold the days of the week are. Yep, something like that. Perfect. Well done. Six, we're going to go up to ten, darling. That's brilliant. Just add those last few after six. Oh, oh, I thought you meant in the squares. No, that's, you're doing great. That's perfectly right. But we're just going to go up to ten rather than the number six. Oh. How are you getting on, Teddy? We've imported again. We did show you, we did um, speak about this before. We've imported from the Twinkle website a graph template straight over to Notability which we um, did before, we showed in one of our previous videos. We'll try and find the link for that and pop that one down below. So now we've got the graph set up, we're gonna look at what the temperature is today. So it's half past 11. So if we remember at half past 11 for the next week, that's the time we're gonna check okay. the temperature each day. So if we look on Alexa, here, Alexa uh, will screen. tell us, yeah, Alexa will tell us what the temperature is right now. Can you see? Zero, Zero degrees. Zero degrees. Brrr. So we can fill our first chart, the, the Friday, and we can do a line at the zero degrees on our chart, yeah? Yeah, so like, do we have to do it in like a colour crayon? Yeah, so do a line and then bring it down and then colour it in. Okay. Good boy. I need you to help me because I don't yeah. know which... Go with Alfie, Alfie will show you, good girl. Um, so... That's, like this. Yep, perfect. I did this at, um, when I used to be at school, so now I know how to do it. Tomorrow's a green. Well done. Let's have a look. What line marks zero? Perfect. So if you find zero on your... We're still getting through the Christmas chocolate, aren't we? If you find zero on your... That's it, and then do a line across. Just that one... That's it, and then you want to bring it down to here, and then this bit here, look, shows that it's Friday, and the temperature is so do zero. So all these boxes. J yeah, just that one line. This is one. What? Just this one. We're going to colour all this in. So we're going to do a line down here mm -hmm. to separate it from Friday and Saturday. So a line down here, and then we're going to colour in the Friday section. So, so to go down here. Yeah. Or do I go? On yeah, the that's line? it on the line, right down to the bottom. After Friday. Yeah, and then you can colour all that in green. This? Yeah. You sure? I'm sure, darling. Good all girl. This. Yeah. And then when you look at it, you see, you can say, oh, on Friday, it was zero, zero, degrees. zero degrees. I murdered Santa. Do you know that one? <laughs> We're still eating the, the Christmas chocolate, aren't we? Great job. How are you getting on Alfie? You're going to colour that in, darling. What? So, because it's a bar graph, yeah, we're going to colour it in. It's not a line graph. That would be right if it was a line graph and we'd be doing it, but it's a bar graph. So, we're going to make it into a bar, just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good boy. So, we're going to cut these out so we can fit them into our nature journal, aren't we? Mm -hmm. 
a go across here. Good girl. I wanted to quickly show you all this that we did over the Christmas period, just before Christmas. We decided to paint this wall with chalkboard paint and the kids absolutely love scribbling thing ideas, drawings, things we're going to be doing on there and then we can just rub it off and start again. I don't, I don't, um, um, it's not my thing to think You don't like the chalk, the sound of the chalk, we have to be really careful with it, don't we Ted, but the other two really, really love these it. These are the nature journals um, I was talking about earlier. We've had a few and these are by far our favourite. They're from Amazon and I'll leave a link down below for that as well. Um, but they've got the lovely little rope to keep it together and then you open it up and it's really good because i like it because each page oh sorry each page can actually be clipped out while they're writing because i find sometimes when they're trying to do it in the nature but with previous ones and they're actually glued in it's really hard for them to do their drawing and get to the edge so it's really good that you can um actually take one out hello camera and then put it back in after and yeah. hello camera that one Hello, camera. Hello, no, mate. I should not be <laughs> Right. Yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> so we're just about to put the gym bar up, bar up that um, Ted and Millie got off Santa for Christmas. But I just wanted to show you it folded down first because it folds down pretty small and it actually fits in one of our cupboards and then it's really easy to... Um, fold out and put it when you want to use it so it doesn't have to take up loads and loads of space all the time so that's it that's it folded down right so put the gym mat on you literally just pull out it takes 30 seconds if that to pull out both sides and it clips into place and then you can put the screws in to change which um height height it is that you want to do it i'm ready okay woo <laughs> Very good, darling. Go on then, Teddy Bear. Okay. Uh, I'm getting chalk, so I'm not swimming out and have chalk around. Yay! He doesn't have to get back down. He does. We come around this way. Woo! Well done, Teddy. Go on, Alfie. Woo! That's it. Do some. Very good. So it's nearly midday and the kids are just having a minute to burn off some steam on the gym bar. I really, really recommend um, this for an indoor activity. Also in summer, we'll put it outside and they can use it for um, outdoor play as well. But I really like the fact that it folds down quite flat so it hasn't got to be out all the time because obviously a gym bar takes up quite a lot of space. Um, it was from Santa, but they also do it on Amazon. So we'll leave a link down below for that as well. And we're just about to do the last little experiment and then it will be lunchtime. Make a simple rain gauge. Please work with a parent on this activity. Cutting through into the plastic bottle can be tricky. You will need one litre plastic bottle, scissors, permanent black marker. Carefully cut around the shoulders of the plastic bottle so you can so you completely remove the neck. Turn it upside down and place into the bottle with, with a permanent marker. Carefully mark the size of the bottle with measurements from the, from the bottom up, working in either centimetres or inches. Make sure your measurements are clear and easy to read. Place your gauge outdoors and measure, measure the amount of rainfall at the same time each day. Remembering to empty the bottle after you have written down the measurement. That it? Yep. Great reading, darling. Right, so we've already got the bottle and Mummy has already cut it because it's, they're really tricky to cut, aren't they? And they're sharp. So, Millie, can you take the bottle lid off? Good girl. So then, what did it say to do on the bottle? Can you remember? Right from the bottom up. And write what on there? The measurements of the rainfall. The today. measurements. So what measurements do you think we should use? 20 millilitres. Do you think millilitres? Yeah, it's not going to get on the video of No. So we could do it in millilitres, can oh, we? Oh, we should have 10. 10. Good girl. Up Just top. bring that seven one down a little bit. Can you see it's not quite at the seven? This one here, the one above, it's a bit higher than seven, isn't it? Can you show Alfie where the one, of, the seven one's a little bit too high? Yeah, just there. The seven lines there. Can you just do a line there? Here. Yeah, just the tip of my nail. That's, That's it. it. Good girl. Good girl. 
We can sort of figure out if he doesn't quite reach the one, we can think, right, that's just one or two little millimetres, or we can get this again, but we're going to struggle, I think, to fit 10 dots in between each one. Okay. So we know that's in, what is it in? Tens. Yeah. What measurement? What? Millimetres. Uh, um, centimetres. Centimetres, that's right. Yeah, sand it up now. <laughs> it let's have a look so so now instead of it being like this yeah just catching you know now it catches from all around yeah. this do you want to hold it up and show us yes. i'm going to use the water okay. where's the water in there it's just time but we just empty it out as well i washed it and got the black cotton out hold it up then great well done and where do you think we, we should put it we're going to use this every day yeah, see if it rains, we'll check it every day because we have to <laughs> empty it every day and, and record any rain we've had. Can we put it in my lot then? Can, can we yeah. like, have this like forever? Yeah. yeah. And then, well, we, wait, why should we put the water then? In my lotman. Into yeah. my allotment. What are my allotment? And yours. Um, Want to go and put it in? Okay, should we put it in my allotment? Yeah, you can put it in your allotment. Okay, so Tim, we're going to put it in my allotment. just had dinner and it's currently about quarter past one in the afternoon the children are upstairs now having their quiet time they'll have an hour or so they go on their gadgets and they're allowed to ring their friends and chat to them sometimes they have a little bit longer they have two hours sometimes at the minute with lockdown because it's the only chance they're getting to actually speak to other children and interact with them so they're gonna have an hour or so now i'm gonna do a few bits around the house have half an hour to put my feet up um, and we're going to leave the video up here because we've got loads and loads of footage. They spend ages outside cracking the ice and exploring, much longer than we thought. So we've got loads of footage to show you, or well, you would have seen it all by now. But we're going to end the vlog here. You're going to go up and have quiet time now, aren't you? Yeah. The boys are already having their quiet time. Yay! <laughs> say bye. Bye-bye. Can you say thank you for watching? Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching as always. Like, subscribe and leave any comments or questions down below or check us out on our Instagram page and we will see you all again wait, really, really wait, soon. Wait, 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 before bye. you end the video, before you end the video. Say bye, boo. Bye, boo, boo, boo. Bye, bye. <laughs> oh, boo, boo, boo. He's like, what is going on in my life? Bye. Bye, bye. Oh, wave, wave. <laughs>